In late April 1855, over 70 brave pioneers from Hamden County, Massachusetts, arrived east of present-day Burlington. The group's original destination was Lawrence. While purchasing teams and supplies in Kansas City, they met S.C. Pomeroy, who induced them to settle in the Neosho Valley. Pomeroy was an agent for the New England Immigrant Aid Company. The New England Immigrant Aid Company was created to get immigrants to Kansas so the state would enter as a free state rather than a slave state. William A. Ella laid out the town of Hamden and on May 1, 1855, the colonists drew their lots. Ella ran the first store in Hamden, which also contained a private post office for the settlers in the Neosho Valley. The store started carrying whiskey after a colonist run in with a rattlesnake. The colonists feared more rattlesnake bites and believed that whiskey would cure the bites. The New England Immigrant Aid Company sent the new colony machinery for a sawmill that summer. The mill was never put into operation due to the area's inability to acquire water. In February 1857, a company that was formed in Lawrence came to Hampton. O.E. Leonard was the leader of this company. The company asked Ella to give up all claim as president of the Hampton colony, which Ella refused. The group told him they would cross the river and kill his town. In 1857, Leonard founded and named Burlington in honor of Burlington, Vermont, his birthplace. The group obtained authority to move the sawmill and took at least half the houses with them. The New England Immigrant Aid Company reported at its annual meeting on May 25, 1858 that the mill formerly at Hamden has been moved to the flourishing town of Burlington and is now in operation there. Burlington would also move Ella's post office to their town in 1858. Burlington's first mayor was Fernando a. Atherley in 1870. Before he became mayor and the town was just beginning, Atherley built the first building in Burlington. The closest place to get lumber was 40 miles away, and the town of Hampden had a few cheap houses. Atherley purchased two small houses and moved them from Hampden to Burlington across the river. Hamden, fearing this would hurt their town, obtained a warrant from Leroy, the county seat at the time, to arrest Atherley. Atherley and his helpers resisted arrest and finished moving the houses when the officers returned to Leroy. The houses were located halfway between the Neosha River and the Central Hotel, where the old Carnegie Library sits today. The building was first used as a provision store by James Jones. It was also used as headquarters in General Ranch. The town continued on, fighting to survive. Hamden would again get another mill. They would also build the first school in the county with Ella doing much of the building by himself. Miss Emily Ella was the teacher in the school. He also built a newspaper office, so the town had a newspaper on June 4, 1864, making it the third paper in the county. The office was moved to Garnet the spring of 1865. The location of the county seat would change back and forth between Leroy and Burlington several times, but on May 23, 1863, the Coffee County Commissioners declared Hamden the county seat by popular vote. The next election in 1865, Burlington took back the county seat from Hamden. Burlington was elected the permanent location of the county seat in November of 1865. Despite the efforts of the townspeople, Hamden was not able to revive the town after the county seat was removed. The lack of water did not help the town survive. In fact, there was just one good well and it lay just over the town line. The town of Hamden was abandoned in 1866. William Ella passed away in March 1884. His son Henry stayed in the area for many years on the same claim of land that he drew when the town was started.